Let's take a quick check on the Asian markets. Actually, it's a mixed bag ready to kickstart trade out there. The Shanghai market, that's the one that's trading in the green with a gain of around three tenths, around four tenths of a percent odd. Remember that market in this month itself is up nearly around six percent. And for the year 2019, that's already up close to around 25 percent odd. So that's clearly been the big outperformer. But other Asian markets, well, they're trading with a bit of a negative bias. So you have the Hang Seng that's under some pressure, the Nikkei as well that's under some pressure, and the Kospi and Bishardo of the short was holding mildly in the green. Well, that's done a bit of a U-turn of uh, sorts. So fair to say, the Asian markets are mixed. And when we started off the show, the HGX Nifty was indicating a 30-point bump up. Now it's taking, you know, what's going on in terms of those Asian markets, and it's factoring that in. And that's why it's indicating, yes, a start in the green, but maybe only around 10 to around 12 points out. But let's come back home then, and let's get straight to the latest in the Jet Airways Resolution Plan. And Naresh Goel has asked the airline's employees to remain patient as his team tries and works out a resolution plan. Now, in his letter, Goel reiterated that dialogues with Etihad and lenders were ongoing. Writing about uh, the delay in finalizing the resolution plan, Goel said, and I quote, You may have read the recent comment by the SBI chairman, as reported in the media, expressing his optimism on the completion shortly. The complexity of the process, though, has led to some delays and will require a further short time to conclude. End of quote. Well, he went on to add, and I quote yet again, talks with our strategic partner, Ithiad Air Airways, and lenders led by SBI are ongoing. We are, we are in constant dialogue with them. End of quote. Well, however, we learn from sources that there is still a stalemate between Jet Airways and its partner Etihad over the terms of the Memorandum of Understanding, which were drafted earlier this month. Now, the perpetuity clause, which caps Naresh Goel's stake at 20%, has been one of the major sore points. Ritu Singh joins us with further details. Ritu, good morning. Tell us what else are you picking up? Statements from both uh, Etihad Airways as well as Naresh Goel's own letter to employees say that negotiations are on as far as the resolution plan is concerned, but we're given to understand that Etihad is yet to commit any further fund infusion into Jet Airways, and this comes amidst tensions where we've seen Jet Airways grounding its operations from Abu Dhabi, which is uh, Etihad's uh, you know, uh, place of operation, clearly signaling that all is not well between these two partners. We're given to understand that Etihad has made it very clear it will not invest into the airline unless differences with Naresh Goel are resolved. Now these differences include one of course uh, the perpetuity clause with Etihad wants to impose but Naresh Goel wants to do away with. Second is of course the board seats where uh, Naresh Goel wants to nominate two members but Etihad is not agreeable to this plan. So without these differences being resolved there is no money on the table as far as Etihad is concerned and without Etihad pumping in any money lenders are not willing to give any fresh loans but all of that aside uh, you know uh, State Bank of India chairman recently said they're still hopeful uh, that talks are on and hopefully there will be some resolution uh, as early as this week. But for now, there has been no commitment whatsoever from Etihad Airways. Uh, Etihad owns 24% of uh, Jet Airways. Uh, Jet Airways have their own program and their own management and their own uh, decisions. Uh, yes, they may be facing some uh, difficulties. Uh, but uh, it is up to the management of Jet Air to decide what they want to do and which way of action and which track they want to uh, take. Well, that note will slip into a short break. Up next, the GST Council meets today, expected to finalize the tax structure for real estate. Stay with us.